Hello everybody, my name is uh, Rodrigo Ruiz. I'm the instructor and the uh, consultant in charge for uh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo LLC. It's a small consultancy firm, uh, mainly focused on failure analysis and uh, support for uh, production operations in, uh, in different countries, but mainly <clears throat> in the United States. Um, the uh, purpose of this training is basically based on the experience of many years uh, discussing failure analysis on soccer rods. Uh, I, I came to the conclusion that the approach is always, um, you know, uh, biased to the manufacturer or the operation or, uh, or, or you know, a metallurgical lab or a chemical guy, there's always some bias. So at the end of the day, find that root cause analysis should be, you know, the, the, the non-bias uh, process. So what I've seen over uh, years is that it's really hard to convey to one uh, particular root cause. And, uh, and then we, uh, you know, we forget a little bit the, what's the end goal that's solving a problem or uh, resolving uh, endemic or um, <laughs> pattern-like uh, failures. So on this uh, training on Thursday, October 27th, um, what I'm going to present is a new method. Is a practically uh, um, a practical approach or a, a simple methodology to approach a failure analysis from an integral uh, perspective, uh, unifying operations, uh, manufacturing, um, vendors in general, and uh, even metallurgical aspects of it, based on <clears throat> what you can actually see on a sample. So just the observations you can make on a, on a sample plus the application itself will lead you to a lot of uh, really good conclusions and then the whole point of this is to make it practical make it cost effective um, and then being effective most than anything um, that you can actually resolve the issues you had in the field so the agenda for the training uh, mainly uh, we're going to cover um, Interactory aspects of a failure, and then uh, the process itself, how to go through a failure analysis. So it's, it's a, uh, technically a short course from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, it's going to have uh, the structure of a workshop. So we're going to go through all this um, based on the people that attend. Um, it's going to be a lot of Q and A's in the middle, uh, covering different aspects of the uh, failure analysis process and uh, the, the, the failure method or failure mode um, or, or any other uh, contributing factor that lead to that failure. So the approach, as I said before, is kind of integral. So uh, when a manufacturing company um, goes through a failure analysis, normally tend to uh, prove that it's not manufacturing related an operator trying to say it is not operator related and then a metallurgical lab will you know not being biased but they they they'll go into a deep root of the cause but it's not going to give you any hint on what really you know leading to that failure on your application so um there's a way to connect these uh, three um, aspects of a failure analysis um uh, into a converge uh, convergency method or just a unified method the this method pretty much <clears throat> can be described as a, as a funnel so um, in this is in this aspect let's say I have a failure um, a sample with limited information all these are probably pro uh, root causes um, and based on the observations, maybe I can ask for another set of information. Um, then we need to this many root causes, and then so on and so on and so on. The other, the other way to uh, go uh, further right on into the um, 
The final is patterns. Remember, I start defining patterns over my failure analysis, especially if you're working on a field about you know 300 to 500 wells. You can start seeing repetitive type of failures, and and then the fields behave differently over time. You know, they get sour, or you get you get frag hits, or you get uh, water floods or CO2 floods. Um, <laughs> The, the, the gas interference or whatever there, there's different things that might uh, make it uh, change and that's the reason why normally uh, failure rates tend to you know go down until we really uh, got everything covered and then when the field changes that behavior then we start having some failures and then we fix it again so the idea is of the methodology is being able to see those patterns and identifying, you know, most root causes and, and properly identify them on databases, right? So that's the way we we uh, start seeing patterns. So this is just an example. This uh, work is actually on the website, on my website and rodrelo.com. Um, so the um, the approach, and if you go to the document, you see the, do the approach is completely different. Um, uh, we go from observation to conclusion, to recommendation, um, and it's, all that is actually um, application oriented. So from a failure, we uh, get some uh, information, we go back to what we have available, uh, stream design, um, tubing scan, uh, chemical analysis, uh, pump tear down, um, anyway, uh, history, his, historical data, we got all that and then we you know start pulling all that information and start converging into a root cause normally a root cause will have contributing factors so maybe the main issue is corrosion yes but erosion was related to a bigger size on the coupling or um, or maybe a selection of the material so if you're using spray metal or high water cut wells with some solids so there's there's four or five different variables that might be affecting that uh, runtime on that failure and the idea is just to identify all those contributing factors not only just the main reason for it so again <clears throat> that's that's the idea going through a practical approach um, being integral and um, I promise this is going to be extremely practical, especially for those who uh, have to an analyze failures on a desk, <laughs> on a quick basis, fast. Uh, and so that this is the type, that type of approach, just a fast practical analysis. It might not be 100% accurate, but it'd be uh, good enough for you to start seeing patterns. So I hope I see everybody uh, on, on the training. I'd be um, excited to share some of the insights and, uh, and uh, looking forward to October 27th.